The government has set a target to produce 10,000 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2013. It feels this modest target can be achieved. Currently, South Africa can produce 40,000 megawatts of power. But this needs to double by 2026 to meet our energy demands. The predicament. How to turn the economy from high to low carbon without slowing down growth. Wind power is one renewable energy option being explored. At a recent wind energy seminar, Minerals and Energy Minister Buyel Wasonjika and Danish Foreign Minister Per Stig Muller agreed to cooperate in growing the South African wind industry. It is going to look at the broad spectrum of renewable energy sources. Uh, but at this point, wind power energy, I mean wind power will be the most important one. Uh, we are going to be uh, exchanging uh, uh, technology, uh, there will be skills transfer, there's also already funding that is coming our way from the Danish government. Denmark's been producing renewable energy for years and it can become big business. 27% of Denmark's energy is produced by renewables and 20% by wind alone. Danish company Vestas is the market leader in producing technology that turns wind into energy. The company has an 85% share of the global market for wind turbines. The real issue here in South Africa, as it is in many countries that are on the, sort of on the verge of beginning in the, on the renewable energy path, is government uh, decisions and, and government commitment. And the government here has made some very enlightened decisions about the targets that they want to pursue for renewable energy and it's a question of implementation. South Africa has two small wind farms, the 5,2 megawatt Darling Wind Farm in the Western Cape and ESCOM's demonstration wind farm Klipjevel, which has a 3,5 megawatt capacity. ESCOM is now building a 100 megawatt farm in the Western Cape. Wind is not a schedulable power source. In other words, you can't tell the wind when to blow, you can't tell wind when to generate and it can't pick up when you need it. And that means from a system management point of view, you've got to have something backing up the wind. So if you've got wind generating, you've got to have coal or nuclear or big hydro generating at the same time. Should the wind drop off, you can then pick up. We also have plans for solar thermal. We feel that in the longer term, you could get economies of scale, which means that your costs could be very competitive with coal. Um, and solar thermal can also be designed in such a way that you can schedule it because you can store the thermal energy, which means we can design a solar thermal plant that can operate 24 hours a day. ESCOM and government see wind power playing a relatively small part in South Africa's future energy portfolio. But the country needs alternatives in a power supply crisis and they'll have to be environmentally friendly ones.